Hello friends, my name is Coolio and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're taking a first look impressions video for Final Blade. Now the game just officially launched here in the West as of like last night. It's been available for a couple of hours now. Now I've actually played this game before on my PC because it they do have a version of the game over in the East and I have played it a couple times uh, prior to that, but I don't know if I've ever made a video of it. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But uh, now that the game has officially released here in the West, I've gotten a chance to play it for a couple of hours and I have to say, I've been enjoying the game. They've got a lot of really fun and interesting looking characters and it's got kind of a an Eastern style kind of art style going on for it. And it is extremely generous like with its summons. Like I've played for a couple of hours but I think within like my very first hour, maybe even 30 minutes of playing the game, I already had enough gems and summoning tickets to do like 30 or 40 summons. And then I played a couple more hours since then and I've already got another 30 summons I'm gonna do for this video. So yeah, this game is pretty, um, Pretty friendly when it comes to re-rolling. Now I don't know specifically, um, you can pick a guest account when you first start off and then you can do your re-rolling there and then eventually connect it to another account. So that's pretty good. So yeah, I, I don't know though about, you know, if you delete it and, you know, upload, you know, go back into it and load it up again, if it clears caches or anything like that. But in terms of like how many summons the game gives you right off the bat, it gives you an absolute ton of them. So let's go ahead and actually jump into the combat real quick. I've got a mini boss coming up right here. Now with this game, it's your basic uh, hero collector RPG fair where you go through stages, defeating bosses, getting equipment items that you can use to enhance your characters, leveling up your characters, giving them plus ones. You know, there's different rarities and things like that. The highest rarity in this game is actually a six star. And I was lucky enough to get one six star who is super, super cool and a whole bunch of other five stars. So in terms of like getting your team set up at the beginning, it's pretty easy because the summoning rates, as far as I can tell, are pretty good for five stars with six stars being a little bit, you know, more rare on top of that. Now, before we actually jump into the actual combat, there are a couple of things I do want to talk about before we jump into it. The first one is called the formation screen. Now, with this formation screen, essentially you can set up your team, how you want them to move across the screen, how you want their formation to be set up. Do you want defenders in the front, healers in the back, attackers in the back, and things like that. On top of that is there's a whole variety of different styles of formations that you can eventually unlock throughout the game. As you level up your account, you'll be able to purchase it with the gold that you get throughout the game. And then once you hit certain levels, you're able to unlock the next formation. You don't have to spend the premium currency in order to unlock these. You can just kind of go through and uh, as soon as you get to the next level, you're able to unlock them and then equip them onto it. You can also go through and enhance these by using gold. And what it does basically is it increases some basic bonuses that the game has once you reach certain levels. Now for this very first one called the R hat, once I hit level 25, I gain a freeze resistance of plus 10%. And once I get to level 50, it reduces block rate by 5.3%, which I believe like to the enemy or something like that. So now one thing I do like about this whole formation system with this game is when you come across bosses and dungeons and things like that, there's gonna like, for example, this R hat one with the freeze resist, you could be going up against, I don't know, an ice dragon that can freeze your whole team and you don't want that to happen. So you can go ahead and use the R hat, enhance that, and then it gives you that 10% uh, freeze resistance for your team. So it's all about kind of forming and upgrading your characters beforehand before jumping into the fray to make sure everything is all right. Now on top of the formation, they have these ultimate abilities, these ultimate skills that you can also unlock as you play through the game. However, you can't unlock them all at once. You actually have to level up before you get to the point where you can unlock them for gold. You can spend premium currency if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just level up. Once you get to the next threshold, you can buy the next one and then you just have to wait till the next level threshold after that. However, with these ultimate abilities, these aren't connected to any specific characters. They're connected to your overall account. Now, you can't actually use these ultimate abilities as much as you possibly want. You actually have to get special ultimate scrolls for those specific abilities in order to use them. Now, I've got a level two blizzard equipped right now and I've got 24 blizzard scrolls that I can use in order to activate this ultimate ability. However, if I were to swap over to my Phoenix Fire, I have zero scrolls, so it would become a, like a completely useless ability for me to have equipped. So I'm, I'm going with the blizzard. I'll show you how it kind of works. Now you can acquire these scrolls for free and I believe once you first start off too, they give you a couple of chests which you can use and they give you a whole bunch of scrolls for a lot of these. So you don't have to worry about it too much, probably until you get into the later game. So let's go ahead and actually just jump into the combat. Now this game is pretty friendly in terms of autoplay. I've currently got it on autoplay, I'll just let the characters kind of run across the screen doing damage and stuff like that. 
and they activate their ultimate abilities, they activate their passive abilities obviously, and they activate some other special active abilities as well, once they've basically come off of cooldown. So there isn't really like um there's not really like a stamina system when it comes in, in terms to like how a lot of these things work. It's basically like once your character is able to use this skill, they're gonna activate the skill. And so yeah, so that's basically how that goes. And then they do have a small little bar on the bottom that once it fills up, they're able to activate their ultimate abilities, which you see kind of going on right now. And then I got a little boss battle coming up right here, so I'll show you what the ultimate ability looks like, because it is pretty cool. However, everything on the screen, it, it does look good, but everything on the screen becomes really, really hectic because there's just so much stuff going on. On top of that is they do have little items that will pop up, and if you tap them on the screen, you gain premium currency and other currencies. So you're going to want to pay attention during certain auto, auto, auto battle situations because you can't just basically like turn away from the screen if, if you want to get like the most out of a certain area if you want to get those premium currencies. So let's go ahead, activate my ultimate ability, Blizzard, throwing down, freezing the screen, freezing some of the enemies, and basically that's how that works. Now with these items that will pop up, these spirits, you can see them down there. It's hard to, to see them because they're like kind of hidden, so you really have to pay attention. But sometimes like there's levels where your characters will just automatically pick them up, but there's other times where they won't, so you need to pay attention to picking up these premium- oh, there's a spirit guy right there. You got two uh, spirit gems or whatever they're called, or the premium currency. So I'm gonna let my team go through and just bash this, uh, this little mini boss going on right now. They're doing a pretty good- oh, there's a little spirit right there. Sometimes it's hard to see those little spirits and I feel bad if like I miss out on them. Um, so that might be something that you guys might not like. Like the auto battle combat is pretty good. You just kind of need to pay attention to what's going on in the screen if you want to get the most out of every single level. Another thing that kind of bugs me that this game does is you'll notice I'm not touching the screen but it goes to the dialogue and once it gets to the end of the dialogue it waits for like a second before it goes to the next one. And so for instance there's moments where I was going through the tutorial trying to learn as much as I possibly could about the game and trying to learn things but I would tap the uh, the dialogue to skip past it slowly scrolling because it slowly scrolls. But once I tapped on it, it fills up, I'm trying to read it, and then it immediately skips to the next thing, and I miss out on it, and that's just kind of a small little gripe. So let's go ahead and head back to the lobby real quick, and show you some of the other uh, kind of cool aspects that this game has. Now, because the game just launched, there is a ton, a ton of events that you can play through. They've got playtime events, login events, special events, uh, summoning events, and everything like that. Like, there is like a lot. And then you've also got sweeping tickets in the game. These sweeping tickets basically allow you to go through and clear level like as like instantly if you want to and gain the rewards however you only have a limited amount of time for those on top of that they do have this thing called like a fairy um the this fairy system these fairy tickets if you go and buy these it actually gives you a boost to all of the uh all of the premium currency and items that you get through the certain stages i believe they actually gave me one so i can actually go ahead and use that for the next 12 hours so it's pretty good double the bonuses it's not bad um, on top of that, managing and upgrading your characters is interesting because you can't actually go through and sacrifice or use any kind of specific items to level up the characters. You actually have to play with them in the uh, the stages in order to level them up. However, you can go through and enhance them. And the enhancing system is interesting because what you basically can do is go through and select which units you want to enhance. And it'll, give, it'll move it up to like a plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, whatever. And the higher the rarity of a monster you're using to sacrifice, the higher percent chance that you have of it actually succeeding. So, but it does cost money. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. 313,000, I'm pro they're probably all gonna fail because I've got 10% across the board and a couple of 1%. Oh, look at that! There you go, it succeeded. My plus five Yacha, six star. And go ahead and skip the rest of these, fell, fell, fell. And there you go, I've got a plus five Yacha going on right now, which is awesome. He's my six star character. He is fantastic, I really, really like him. On top of that, you can also go through and enhance um, your equipment items that you have uh, equipped to the character. However, it requires specific uh, weapon and armor enhancement scrolls, and they're very limited. So you probably don't want to use these on like the really crappy items. You're probably going to want to use them on like four star or higher. I've done it a couple of times for my dragon tribe uh, boots, but I don't have a whole lot of these armor enhanced scrolls. So if I go through like this and enhance it to the plus four, uh, enhance it to the plus five and everything like that. You can see it uses up those scrolls really, really fast. So I may not, re I wouldn't recommend going through and just spending all of those. They do have a training system that I don't have unlocked yet, but it basically allows you to do a passive experience um, bonus kind of a thing, uh, or a passive experience growth for these characters. 
On top of that, you can also go through and upgrade the different skills that they have using basic gold. You don't have to have any special scrolls or items for this, and I actually really like that. You can go ahead and hit here and just upgrade these. The max level they can go to is the current level of whatever the, uh, the character or hero that you've currently got equipped. And then obviously you've also got equipment that you can go through and equip as well. I actually really like the fact that you can go through and, and just kind of auto equip and it'll auto equip things that they don't have currently attached to the character, which is nice. So you can just kind of quickly go through, do, 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 equip that. And then if you see the green arrows, go ahead and equip them. However, it does destroy the previous item. So if you're going to equip something onto something, make sure that you're really paying attention to how you're doing it. So I think that kind of covers most of the basics of the game. So let's go ahead and actually do some summons because I've got a lot of summons and I'm telling you guys, they give you a whole ton of summons like right off the bat. Now it costs 2000 premium um, item or premium currency in order to summon. I've got 6,000, so we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of these. On top of that, they've got something kind of interesting called the lucky combinations. Basically, if you summon um, heroes that match up any of these specific combinations, you'll receive special items on top of that. So this top one, if I get seven uh, three-star characters, two four-star and one five-star, I'll get an extra 100,000 gold. I like that, that's actually kind of cool. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do it on the special uh, summoning banner right here, the shadow banner. I'm trying to go for this assassin character because I think she looks really cool. So here we go. Yes, I do want to purchase this. You swipe across the screen in order for it to summon. And we got a basic three star right there, red Peahawk. I don't know, that's kind of a weird name. We're, we're going for the, okay, we got a rare. So we got a five star. We got Esme, Esme. I probably said that way wrong. But what we're going for is a six star. If we can get a six star, that would be fantastic. So I don't know what the animations exactly look like for a six star, like prior to opening up this gourd. But basically you'll see like the orb, like say super rare. And then it'll pop up and tell you, this is a six star, so. And I don't know exactly what the summoning rates are in the game. I haven't seen where it has it displayed. Um, so we got another rare. We got another five star. There we go. Dahi. And we're still going through this. Let's see. We got another basic rare. Namgyo Shielder. Another basic three star, or four star. Sato. And then if it, I think if it stays green, it's three stars. It's blue. Yeah, blue, it's four stars. Yellow, it's five stars. And then... Uh, purple I think for six stars and one thing that's kind of cool on top of that is you do get a small little discount um, if you continue to summon after that so let's go ahead we're gonna do it again and just pray that we get a six star character because the six star characters all look really really cool so we got Dan thank you Dan for being here thanks for thanks for being summoned blaze and then we've got ooh, we got a rare right there so we got a five star Esther okay perfect Hopefully crossing those fingers for the six star. It'd be awesome if we got a six star. I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit faster now. Force charger. We got another basic bell. Swipe. We got another basic Hannah. Come on. At least another five star. Probably not going to get another five star. Octopus. <laughs> I love how his name's Octopus, but he looks so freaking freaky. He does not look like a basic octopus. So black bull healer. Come on. Come on. Daddy needs another six star. Okay, let's do it one more time. This is probably our last one. Here we go. Here we go. Black Army Rio. She kind of looks cool. Come on. We got to end this video with a six star. That'd be amazing. At least, at least maybe double five stars. I don't know. Come on. Oh, we got a rare. Okay, we got another five star. White Tiger Watch. I actually already have her on my team. Come on. Okay, we got another basic one. Core. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cross your fingers, you guys. Send the love, send the luck through the screen and hope that we get uh, at least a six star. I don't know how many more of these we've got. I think we're almost there. I think we, oh, we've only got two more. We got this one. This is the last one, you guys. Last one. Six star? Nope, no six star. Dang, it stinks. I think that's it. That's all, that's all that I've got. But I think I just got like five or six five stars, so that's pretty sweet. You have to admit, like, that's that's a pretty good... Look at that. I've got all these five stars now down here at the bottom. You can kind of go through and check out all these different characters that you have, which is awesome. And I do like the character designs. They look pretty cool, and they look really good, like, against, like, the background that they're playing in. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the game, if you guys are currently playing it, or any kind of cool summons that you guys are getting. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date in the latest in mobile gaming. See you, my friends.